1. Do they need the gospel? We can return but one answer to this question, and it is an affirmative one. The description which the Apostle Paul, in his epistle to the Romans, gave to the heathen world will apply, with very little abatement, to our Negroes. They lie, steal, blaspheme, are slothful, envious, malicious, inventors of evil things, deceivers, covenant breakers, implacable, unmerciful. They are greatly wanting in natural affection, improvident without understanding, and grossly immoral. Chastity is an exceedingly rare virtue. Polygamy is common, and there is little sacredness attached to the marriage contract. It is entered into, for the most part, without established forms, and dissolved at the will of the parties. Nor is there any sacredness attached to the Sabbath. It is a day of idleness and sleep, of sinful amusements, of visiting, or of labor. They are generally temperate through necessity. When ardent spirit can be obtained, they will freely drink it. Numbers of them do not go to church, and cannot tell us who Jesus Christ is, nor have they ever heard so much as the Ten Commandments read and explained. Of the professors of religion among them, there are many of questionable piety who occasion the different churches great trouble in discipline, for they are extremely ignorant and frequently are guilty of gross vices. We cannot go more fully into the moral condition of these people at present. Indeed, it is unnecessary. Generally speaking, they appear to us to be without hope and without God in the world a nation of heathens in our very midst. And if we believe the testimony of our own eyes and ears and the testimony of those who know these people most intimately, we must conclude that they need the gospel and need it as much as any people in the world do.